Good afternoon and welcome to a beautiful evening here in Pines Pass. The sun is shining and I'm sitting doing these rain diagrams. Life can't get much better. So what are we doing? We're going to chapter 36. We're going to do the rain diagrams for a convex lens. So let's pray that this yoke works because I have my speed work done here. So it's chapter 36. I hope in the skinny one. It's the ray diagrams is what we're doing for a convex lens, convex converging, convex lens, and it's page 448. Now, what do I want done with this? On graph paper preferably, because it'll save you a lot of time drawing it out. I want you to do these one, two, three, four, five ray diagrams. On page 448 figure 36.21 then when you have them done and I mean drawn accurately with a pencil a ruler so you need a pencil a ruler preferably graph paper but if you don't have it that's tough just take your time like I did and draw it all out and then when you've it all done and done properly and you check it inside out or I'll send it back then you upload it and I mark it for you fair enough so let's begin here so I have these I'll be sketching these out, each and every one of them. So, so we're going to draw the lens. There's the lens. Uh, that's how I know it's a convex lens. Look at the wee arrows at the top. If you're stuck, go back into the videos. There's F, the focal point, and there's 2F, twice the focal point. Now that, look, what's the blue dot? From there to there is the focal length of the lens and that's known as the center of the lens because guess what it's the center of the lens right so there's f and 2f and remember we have f's and 2f's on both sides because light can follow the blue spot light can come in that way or light can come in that way yes and the lens does the refraction so let's have a have the first one i'm going to put a, uh, an object between F and 2F. See the way the object's between F and 2F? And then I'm going, well, I'll try, but I'm not guaranteeing on this. I'll try. And again, I'm taking the time. Yes. And that's where this one appears to come, because this is going to be my virtual image. This is the magnifying glass. Fair enough. So there's ray number one, the red one. I'm not going to label it because it's red. Now I'm going to draw in a blue one. A ray parallel to the principal axis. Hold on now, just bear with me. There are blue. Goes down through F. So again, I'm taking my time. You should be taking your time. Down through F. Right? And where does that come from? Again, I'm above looking into it. Goes way back up. Is my dotted line? It is. And where the two dotted lines cross, which is about there, I'll make the object the green thing. And there is the object. Oh, I'll just take that out. Undo. Right, I'll make that a dotted line because it's a virtual image. Fair enough. So there's your image. So this is a magnifying glass. That is a virtual image. That doesn't exist. There is your object. I will now write in O for object. What do you think I'm going to write in for image? Correct. I. The image is virtual, erect, enlarged, and beyond 2F. Where's the object? Between F and C. Fair enough. So that's the first one. Now I'm going to draw the second one. I know this is exciting, but how do you think I feel? Right, so there's my lens. And now I'm going to draw the principal axis. There's it there. And there's F. And there's two F, so I'll label them.
Now there's a label, fair enough. And now I'm gonna look at part B, I'm gonna put the object at F. So there goes the object, at F. Arrow, there's my object. The two rays now, we'll do a red one. A ray through the center is undeviated. Imagine this is the excitement of your life now, huh? There's that one. We'll put an arrow on it. And the second one, one what colour was the second one? Let me have a look. Blue. And then we'll go to a blue one. Array parallel to principal axis. Is refracted through F. Bent through F. See the blue one? And if you've drawn these right, these are parallel lines. Right? Parallel lines, and they don't meet. So we'll go back to our pen, and there is the object, and there is no image, because parallel lines never meet. Fair enough. This could be you focusing the sun at the focal point, maybe to set fire to paper or something. That's a bit of the excitement of this. So if the object is at F, there is no image. Let's do the next one. So we're on to C, and you can see now that the object is between 2F and F. So let's go again. We're doing the right colour. Yep. I just want to make sure it's fine enough. And there's the lens, and I know it's a convex lens from the shape of it. Right, and there's F, and there's 2F, and there's F, and there's 2F, and now I'm going to put the object in here, between F and 2F, look at C, there's your object, do you see it, right, so the first ray, which is the red one, a ray through the centre is undeviated. Again, I'm taking my time. It's not the most exciting thing in life I've ever done. But it has to be done accurately. Second ray, which is the blue one. A ray parallel to the principal axis is refracted through F. Again, I'm taking my time, make sure I get it right. And with the two cross, that's going to be my object, or my image, sorry, now there's the image, right? So there's the image. Fair enough. Here is my object. Here is my image. So there's the object. The object is between F and 2F, and there's the image. It's beyond F. It's inverted, and that means through upside down. It's enlarged. It means that the image is bigger than the object and it's beyond 2F and it's real. So that could be something like a projector screen. You put in an image here, or you put in your film here, yeah, there's your film and you get an image on a screen here and you would say some projector that is, the image is upside down. So you put in the object in upside down. So the next time you go to the cinema that's what they're doing, they're putting the object in upside down and getting the image, a real image on the screen. Right, let's do number four, D, D for dog. So I'm going to draw the lens. Yes, now I'm going to draw the principal axis. And again, I'm taking my time, perpendicular and all that. You get it wrong, it just goes wrong. There's F, there's 2F, there's F, and there's 2F, and there's the center of the lens. So we've it all labeled. I'm gonna put the object at 2F. There's the object at 2F. Now, carefully, the red one. Array through the center. 
And ready to the center is on the wheel. Have you seen anything on that? Yep. There's the red one. And there we go for the blue one. A ray parallel to oh, the one on the back. Put an arrow on that chap. Right, and we'll go for the blue one. A ray parallel to the principal axis is refracted through F. And with the two cross, there's your image. So have a look at that one. There's your object, follow the blue spot, and there's your image. The object is at 2F, and the image is at 2F. So there's your object, oh, and there's your image. And your image is real, because the really cross, the red one crosses the blue one there. It's inverted, it's upside down, it's the same size as the object. It's real, same size, inverted. What's the other one? Real. Real inverted, same size. Let us see what you'd use that for. It says telescope erecting lens, right? There you are. Not a way I'll use that one, tie through. Right, and now I'm going on to the last one. On to the last one. This is E for elephant. Again, you sketch it, have a look at what I'm doing, and then you go and do it. Here we have. The lens drawn, convex, converging lens. Keep talking to yourself like I do. No way I was going to listen to you anyway. And there's F. And there's 2F. And there's the centre of the lens. And there's F. And there's 2F. And I'm going to put the object out here. See where it is. Follow the blue spot. There's 2F. And there's the object. So it's beyond 2F. So now I'm going to draw the red one coming in. Here comes the red one in. Try to make the thing exciting. Anyway. Fair enough. There's it coming in. Put over there if you wish. Right. Array through the centre. Follow the blue spot. Array through the centre is undeviated. Daily blue. Now I'm going to do the blue one. Array parallel to the principal axis is refracted or bent through the focal point. There's the focal point. There's for the cross. See with the red and the blue cross? That's your image. And it's a real image. There's your image. It's real, the really cross. There's your object. The image is smaller than the object. It's upside down. It's inverted. The image is inverted compared to the object. The image is smaller than the object. The image is real. So that's the camera. So let's write these things all down what they are. Let's go up to the top. Thank you very much, machine. That's a magnifying glass. Fair enough. This one, well, searchlight. Oh. I don't want to get that one. Not that there's too many searchlights around Pines Pass now, is not it? Here is your cinema projector, so we'll just put in projector. The next time you're at the cinema, that'll be a first. There's your projector. And it says this is a camera. And a camera. And there's a camera. E, A, B, C, D, E. And that's a camera. Right. So there's the four, or five of them drawn. Right. I don't know, that could be a camera. Yeah. Hmm. Camera. There's the five of them drawn. If I zoom out now, see in front of What am I saying? If I zoom out. Right. Right, and then if I come down. There's what you should be submitting to me. Fair enough. Good, clear, accurate diagrams for the convex lens. 
thank you very much for wa watching. Now I want the work done and I want it up uploaded in Google Classroom. Toodle bit.